Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So in this video we're going to be playing around with the Horse Girl collection from Trixie Cosmetics. This did come out a few weeks ago and unfortunately I wasn't paying attention to the time that it launched and I missed out on the eyeshadow palette. It already sold out once so I did place a pre-order for this one and I finally got it in along with the rest of the goodies. The palette is currently available if you guys want to buy it and then it will be shipped out immediately so you guys don't have to wait in case you are interested in this palette by the end of this video but let me go over the pieces it's a little cute collection there is a few accessories that I will have some pictures right here for you guys I do like the bandanas but I decided not to get those so the first item that we have is a liquid lipstick this is in the shade Eden this has been released this shade in a lipstick form which I do have right here I was really excited to have it in a liquid lipstick formula I love the color and I haven't tried out the liquid lipstick formula yet yet so I did purchase that it comes in this cute little heart tube to show you guys and a really nice doe foot applicator it is going to retail for $16 and it is a matte formula there is going to be a blush. This is going to retail for $14. It is in the shade Show Pony, which is a new shade for Trixie Cosmetics. So that is what that looks like. I am wearing it on my face, and I am wearing the liquid lipstick on my lips as well. And then there is the star of the show, the eyeshadow palette. So the eyeshadow palette is going to retail for $48. There are 12 eyeshadows in there. It is a mixture of eyeshadows and pressed pigments, just to let you guys know. So there is some staining. Um, ability with these shades just be mindful of that but here is what the eyeshadow palette looks like you do have one glitter matte which is this lighter shade up here and then you do have five shimmers and the rest are mattes so here is the eyeshadow palette I did just go with a all matte eye today just because that's what I was feeling if you guys would like to see more looks with this palette head over to my Instagram which I will leave a link to down below um, and I will do some cool things with the shimmers and stuff like that so I will post that up there but this is the look that we're going to be doing today with the horse girl palette from Trixie Cosmetics so if you're interested in this eye look and you want to know my thoughts on this collection towards the end of the video and just keep on watching all right with eyes prepped and primed I am wearing the P Louise base in the shade one in case you're curious what I prime my eyes with and then I'm gonna dip into the shade stir up trouble and start packing that on the outer corner pack on the pigment first and then take a clean fluffy brush to blend out the edges for the next shade so this is a really fun little peachy look now I was looking at um, this palette and then the James Charles painted palette. I know a lot of people do not want to support his company. Um, all that good stuff. If you did like the first, or I'm sorry, if you did like the last two rows of his blank canvas palette, maybe this palette could be a good replacement because I did notice that this palette and then that one do have those really warm red and orangey tones um and then the trixie cosmetics one just has that little pop of blue so a little pop of color if you're looking for that um but yeah i was thinking that maybe it could be a really good alternative if you did not want to support his company by buying that palette so uh let me know in the comments down below if you guys kind of see it with this one um they are doing a 30 percent off sale right now on the eyeshadow palettes i do not how know how long it is going for i know this video is going to be going up later in the week so i do apologize for that but i would definitely check for all of the holiday sales that are going to be going on i'm sure they're going to have um so many off this palette if you're interested in it and it is shipping currently right now so you don't have to wait for um, it to ship when I had placed my order it was on back order but it's no longer on back order so you can get it the next shade I'm going to dip into is the shade western pleasure and I'm going to put that on top of stir up trouble um, I am putting that in the front portion of the eye as well and then I'm stamping on the color and then I'm going to take back and then I'm going to go back into stir up trouble and build that up um, just because we do lose that. For the front portion of the eye, I did not take any other color. I just took a really big fluffy brush and did some wide circular motions to push out this color and diffuse it in the front portion of the eye. 
So as I'm doing this voiceover, I did forget to mention in this video that I did take the shade Sugar Cube, which is that um, very, very light skin tonish um, shade. It does have some glitter in it. I used that to help soften up my edges a little bit. I that's it. the only thing that I don't like about this palette is that shade because I'm not a fan of glitter mattes and because this shade is so so light it's literally like I'm just dusting glitter all over my eye um, and it's not like there's like color to it because uh, it's so light so it's kind of like the only shade that I'm a little disappointed in but other than that I have to say that I do think that Trixie Cosmetics is really um, upping their eyeshadow game and their blush uh, game. I've been pretty impressed with them so far with this palette and the Katia palette. So I just had to say that. To darken up the look just a little bit more, I went into the shade Cult Classic and I placed that right onto the eyelid and I did not take it up any higher. I just diffused it right where I put it and then I will go ahead and cut my crease for the peachy shade. For the eyelid, you don't have to lay down a colored primer. You could just go in with your normal primer. I just bought so many colored primers from um, the P. Louise Black Friday sale like a year or so ago, and I realized that I never use them, so they're just sitting in my drawers. Um, and I just wanted to try and use them up. So I did take a peachy colored base from P. Louise and place that on the eyelid just to make sure that it was extra peachy if that makes sense and then I did go into the shade um it's hey a girl first and that's on the front portion of the eye and then I'll dip in the shade hoedown which is the darker orange shade and then again back into cult classic just so that we get that nice ombre effect on the eyes for the waterline I am using a P. Louise peachy um, color. I don't remember the name of, of it off the bat, so I'm so sorry. And then the bottom lash line is those same pink shades that we had used before. Once everything's blended to your liking, just add some lashes. I believe these are from P. Louise. I have never tried their lashes, believe it or not, but I've quickly fallen in love with them. I picked those up during the sale as well. And then, yeah, the rest of your face. I am wearing the blush so I didn't end up doing a demo of that, but just so you guys can see the color it is on my face. Again, I really, really liked it. Great formula, great everything so far. I'm really enjoying Trixie Cosmetics. Alright guys, so that was the tutorial and demo of the Horse Girl Collection from Trixie Cosmetics. So let me just go over my thoughts real quickly with you guys since this is a small collection. So the liquid lipstick, I really like the formula. I find it very, very comfortable. I think this color is so, so pretty and wearable. It's not clinging to any dry patches. I will say, however, if you're a fan of the lipstick bullet version, it is slightly different in color, I've noticed. For example, I do have both of them right here. This is the liquid lipstick dried down, and this is the one from the Bullet. I feel like the liquid lipstick is slightly more pinky than the lipstick one. The lipstick one is more of a brown versus the pink. So just to show you guys the two differences, but either way, I do really, really like the colors, and I do like the formula, so that's just kind of what I've noticed with the two here. Let me know in the comments down below if you have both of these formulas and if they are the, exactly the same or if they are slightly different. And then the blush. Now, I have not really been a fan of Trixie Cosmetics blushes in the past. I have a couple of her blush palettes, like the purple one, I think the first one she ever launched, and I think maybe another one, and I was just not a fan of those. They got hard pan right away. They're really hard to build up. There was absolutely no color payoff with the palettes, and I have since decluttered those because I just do not like them, but I do think that over these years she has upped their blush formula game because this one performed way better than the other ones that I've had in my collection. It was super pigmented right off the bat, almost dangerously too pigmented, but that's honestly not a bad thing. Just go in a very light handed with the shade and it is a really beautiful color. There is no hard pan with this that I am noticing, so absolutely love the blushes. I do highly recommend the blush if you like the color. And then the eyeshadow palette 
palette. I am really impressed with the formula as well. I do think she has stepped up her eyeshadow formula game. Everything was nicely pigmented. Everything blended out really nicely. And these shimmers are actually really, really reflective and they're not getting hard pan like they used to. Like look at how gorgeous that shade is. I know I didn't use any in any of the looks, but you can tell just by swatching them compared to the older formula that this, these are way better. So I would highly recommend getting this. I think it was such a fun collection. That's going to be my video for today, guys. If you really liked it, leave a like on this video. It really helps my channel out. Comment down below what you guys think of this collection. And if you are a fellow horse girl, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see the next time that I upload. Until next time, I will see you in the next one. Bye.